Hi everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Tara. Hope everyone is well. Pardon me while I get my new favorite sweater on. This thing is amazing. It goes down to my knees. I love it. Okay, so we're still throwing down cards for October because um, I, I have horrible time management skills and I'll be the first person to admit that. And I just got so much going on right now. Um, school fundraisers. Um, trying to find new clothes for my son because he's growing like weed and all the stuff that I bought him last spring right before chaos ensued. Um, yeah, they don't fit him. So, and yesterday, um, it was sending back things that I had ordered that don't fit him and ordering new things and hoping they come in time for fall picture day next week because I do this thing where I force him to wear a suit and tie one day, <laughs> one day a year. He has to wear a suit and tie to school for picture day. But anyway, <laughs> that's enough about me. We're throwing down cards. Oh, if you hear the phone going off, it's because there's a weather alert for tonight. And even though they already texted me and emailed me once, yeah, the local news station will text and email with a weather warning if you give them your information. It's going to go off probably about four or five more times. <laughs> Just in this short little time, it's going to take me to do this reading. So I've come used to it, I guess. I grew up here. It gets cold in the fall. Oh, what am I doing here? All right. And again, I'm not making decisions. I'm letting the universe do it. I have no idea who's next. So surprise. Pisces. I got the moon card. It's you. Let's do it. I'll just get this deck right back out then. Okay. This reading will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to whoever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards, Pisces. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just reading cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay too. If it is not yours, do not take it with you. Leave it. If you want something that might resonate a little bit better, Check your moon rising or Venus sign readings. Good mind. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can be vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of our friends, the cross watchers. And our dear friends, the cross watchers, are always welcome here at the fire sign tarot table. Can I thank you again for stopping by today? I appreciate you wholeheartedly. Okay. Universe, Source, and Spirit, thank you for joining us today as we throw down cards for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October 2020. I ask for clarity and accuracy as I thank you for this gift so that we may bring Pisces to their highest possible good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Okay. Right on. Pisces, why are you here? Knight of Cups. Hmm. Either you're holding a cup for someone or someone's holding a cup for you. It's not the most committal cup, but it's an offer. Hmm. Okay. Why not? That's a we'll see what happens kind of card. See where the wind takes you. I like it. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Four of Swords. Restless energy. What's up with that business? What you so restless about? Hmm. They got your fur up about something. What are they? What do you think of them? And oh, the hair fit reversed. Hmm. That may not have worked out so well. Maybe that's why you're restless. Maybe you still hold a cup for them. Who knows? What do you want from them? Two of Cups. 
I love it when y'all make me have to throw a clarifier on that. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, well, how do they feel about you? Four of Pentacles. Look at those Pentacles. That's like a shield. Holding on to something, keeping it close. Meanwhile, you're all restless. Mm, what do they think of you? Three of Cups. You might be in the friend zone. Pisces. I don't want to scream third party yet. What do they want from you? Ten of swords reversed. Oh my. Restless energy, holding on to something that didn't work out so well. Somebody's in the friend zone. Somebody wants to connect. Somebody wants the ten swords out of their back. Okay. What's the conflict? The fool. Conflict in this connection. The fool. Somebody jumped. Or the conflict is trust. This is why we clarify. Pisces, what is going on, friends? What is going on? Potential resolution to the pentacles reversed. Ha. Ha. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for Pisces for the month of October 2020? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I need a little bit of clarity, please. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirit. Why is the Knight of Cups here? I'm only taking the one it showed me. I'm not taking 20 cards. And that is a Knight of Swords. Two nights. Messages of love, messages of truth. You could be peeking in on each other's social media posts too, following each other very closely. Could, could be. World card popped out too. Completions of cycles, allowing old cycles to end and new cycles to begin. Why is the Four of Swords reversed here? Okay, really? Knight of Pentacles. Another knight. Dang! It's three of the four horsemen here. Just 
man. Restless energy. Could be restless because it's so slow moving. Could be restless because it's abundant. And there's potential there. Why is the hair from here? Thanks. I appreciate you. Nine of cups reversed. That didn't work out so well. Somebody got their cups kicked over. Could be a little restless up here because, I mean, it's not the page of pentacles. That's usually the indicator of an apology. This could be a slightly bigger apology. That's, that's, Maybe you want to say, maybe it's something. You feel, but you haven't said, maybe. Why is it two of cups here? All right, who got their cups kicked over? Why is it two of cups here? Page Pentacles. Hmm. There's the apology. Hmm. There's the sword of truth. There's the cup of love. Either you want to receive one, or you want to give one, Pisces. Either way, this didn't work out so well. Somebody got their cups kicked over. Huh. Okay. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? I hate it when they land like that. It's like half cockeyed. Do I take it? Mm -hmm. You're leaning more toward this way. I'm going to take you this way. Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords reverse. Okay. Mm. I'm sensing that is really restless energy. I'm not sensing that Nine of Swords Reverse is trying to come out of a state of being bat poop bonkers. You're getting sucked farther down the rabbit hole with this situation. Whoever this is. They are getting sucked farther down the rabbit hole. They're, they're holding on to something and it's making them bat crap bonkers right now. Why is three of cups here? Thanks. Strength in the reverse. Friend zoned because it's just too draining perhaps. Friend zoned due to a lack of trust. Perhaps. You kick my cups over. Why am I going to trust you? <laughs> you kick my cups over. You think you're coming out of the friend zone anytime soon? Really? Really? That's how I see it. Mm. Why is Ten of Swords reversed here? Shadow side reverse. They still got ten swords in the back. The sun's not shining. They want to disconnect from the toxicity of this because they got the cups kicked over. I'm not even going to throw one more on that. Why is the fool here? Yeah, tell me again. There's another weather alert. Sorry. Why is the fool here? Okay, come on. Page of Pentacles. 
No, sorry, two of pentacles. The obstacle here is trust. The obstacle here is someone jumped. Probably went off on their own little path. The obstacle here is unity and balance. One more on that. The obstacle here is someone is struggling to balance emotions. A balanced time. Tower reversed. The obstacle here is the rebuilding of the tower. Storm already done come. Earthquake came. Tower came falling down. Somebody got their cups kicked over. Somebody feels either like they want to apologize or they're entitled to an apology. And somebody else feels like, you know what? I got ten swords in my back here. You kicked over my cups. I, I don't want nothing to do with this. This is too much for me. This is too draining. This is too toxic. This is too much. This is where we're at right now. That's where we're at. They, they are bat crap bonkers at this point. You're, it's too much. It's too much. Was two pentacles reversed here for the potential resolution. Pisces, what's going on? I may have said cancer earlier. If I did, I apologize. I just did the cancer reading. Page of Wands reversed. Potential resolution. Hmm. New growth. I'm beginning to wonder if this isn't going to be a theme this month. I mean, Mercury is going to go into retrograde. So. People coming back with things they want to apologize about. It, it might be a thing. I mean, that's usually what happens during retrograde. And then people do weird stuff with that. And I mean, y'all do you, but take all returns for what they're worth during retrograde. I'm seeing move forward toward new growth and things that are new and leave old things that did not. So, discern what will fruit and what will not. This 
stop trying to juggle the emotions with it. If you got friend zoned, you got friend zoned, I guess. Hmm. Wow. Old cycles ending, new cycles beginning. Messengers of truth, messengers of love, messengers of abundance. And the fourth horseman. <laughs> there he is. Knight of Wands. Hmm. That's interesting. They all showed up to the party. How fun is that? The projected outcome of this is going forth, doing you, having fun. And this connection, or this connection just continuing to be on and off, on and off, in and out, in and out. I screwed up, you screwed up. So I guess, depending on what you want to do with this Pisces, if you want to heed or not heed, it's just going to be the same old merry-go-round over and over again. You keep trying to rebuild this tower. Or if they do. I don't know who did what. I know somebody got their cups kicked over and somebody's pretty pissed off about it. I know that. So I guess you need to decide which horse you want to be. Because one and the same, the four horsemen, they're very different on how they approach connections. Wow. All right. Let's get some advice. Some additional advice for our Pisces friends. Wow. Oh, wow. What a beautiful day. Temperance and the King of Pentacles, yeah. I can take this two ways. When seeking out the catch or being the catch, it is very important to keep, well, maintain your patience for starters, because that's what the temperance card represents. It also represents positive energy flowing between you. You have to keep the energy positive. If you want to be the catch or if you want to catch the catch, you have to keep the energy positive at all times. No, the negative, mo negative mojo stuff. And that all goes back into which horse would you like to be? Okay. Get two off the bottom. I don't know who this advice is for. Five of Pentacles upright, three of wands reversed. Um... You keep somebody out in the cold long enough, they're not going to wait for you. Take two off the top on that one. Okay, just two. Just two. Four of wands in the upright, ace of wands in the upright. Reading all of this together. If the door to that new start opens up, it's up to you what you do with it. Whether or not you move forward with it. If someone gives you the apology and knocks on the door, it's up to you whether you open it. But they're only going to knock on the door so many times before they walk away. So it's up to you what you do with that, Pisces. Cross-watcher, dear friends, 
whoever viewed today. I appreciate you. Thanks for coming by. We'll catch you again in a couple weeks for either the second half of October or the November readings. I haven't decided yet. I'm pretty sure we'll, we will do a series, be it elemental or individual signs, on who's coming back to haunt you in honor of our favorite Halloween around, uh, our favorite holiday around here, be it Halloween, and um, honor the last retrograde of the year. Yay! So, thanks for coming by. I appreciate you. I love you. Be blessed. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to each other, and we will see you guys next time, okay? Take care.